Hello folks, uh, this is 2021, October, November, paper 1, 2, and the question number is 9. It is concerned with the chapter of forces, as you can see parachutes here. A diagram shows two parachutists, X and Y, X and Y, moving vertically downwards, downwards. The total mass of parachutist Y and his parachute is twice the total mass of parachutist X and his par parachute. So that means... Uh, uh, the given here is mass of y is equal to twice of mass of x mass of x at this moment the air resistance on parachute is to y is twice the air resistance on parachute yes so that means the f opposing f opposing on y is again twice of the f opposing on x so we have two things here mass of y is more than twice of is equal to twice of mass of x and the force opposing on y is equal to twice of the force opposing on x. So it's somewhat like tit for tat. Neither parachutist has reached his constant terminal velocity. So it is somewhere in between. There is still acceleration. That means which statement describes the acceleration of y compared with the acceleration of x. So we have to compare the accelerations. One thing that you have to remember is in these cases, what happens is there are two forces here. So if this is the parachute, if it's a parachute, parachute here. We have uh, forces like this. One force is the force of gravity, force of gravity, and another is the opposing force, F opposing, due to air. Especially with the parachutist, this force opposing is very high. So let me make this arrow longer. So the F resultant, F resultant on it is equal to Fg minus Fo, which is equal to Mg minus Fo. So this means the acceleration should be equal to F resultant by mass and that's equal to mg minus Fo by m and that's equal to g minus Fo by m. So the acceleration is equal to g minus Fo by m. Now for the first body that means for x acceleration is equal to ax is equal to simply g minus Fo x by mass of x so this is for x simply g minus f o x by mx now the same thing for ay will be equal to g does not change for them g minus f o y by m y and that's equal to g minus f o x f o y is equal to twice f o x so it is twice f o x and m y is equal to twice mx so it is twice mx and 2 to gone this gives g is equal to simply f o x by mx a y and this is the same as this that means a y is equal to ax at this moment so at this time at this very moment so the two assertions are equal which means uh, in choice a we have a of y is half not correct a of y is the same as a of x so this is the correct choice let's go to others also the a of y is more than a of x but less than twice the value no and this d also no so b is the correct choice